I'm going to start with one of my own uh, pages. This has been uh, printed from a file that I've prepared that will be on my Etsy store and it has a sort of a very soft uh, sort of harlequin style background and I've printed it on this type of copy paper. So this is 160 uh, GSM and it's A4 and it's a little bit thicker. It's maybe twice as thick as ordinary photocopying paper. Once I've printed out this as my base, I then print out my words. There are four sheets, uh, sorry, three sheets of words. Um, they're the same words, but they're printed out in three different fonts. And all I do is uh, print out this one first, reload this paper back into my printer, and then print out one of my word sheets on top. So this is where I'm going to get my words from that I'm going to use to make my envelopes for my little mini baking journal. I've cut up my strips of paper with the writing on so that they're in little thin strips ready to be added to anything that I want to make and I've taken one of the pieces of artwork from the journal kit that I've been using for this from Screech Owl Studio and I've printed this onto plain paper because I don't want it to be too thick to add to my journal and I've measured out the size of a page and I've done it three times so I have three panels and I'm going to cut this down and then I'll show you the next stage. So we're working in thirds. The first thing I'm going to do is fold this piece up to the top line that I've done and I'm going to fold this piece down all the way down to there. I'm going to leave a slight gap. I'm not going to make it go all the way to the edge. So you won't be able to see it maybe but there's a tiny little gap. So it's just a small amount because that makes the fold a little bit tighter at the top. To make our envelope, this is so simple, we fold this in. In fact, I'm going to measure, you know I don't like to measure, I'd only do this if I absolutely have to. This is my centre point here because the height of my envelope is four inches. So I'm going to measure a centre point at two inches and I'm going to fold into that. I think you can see the way this is going, can't you? And I have an envelope. Really cute, really easy. I'm going to add a little bit of decoration to this. To make sure I get a colour that's in keeping with the rest of the colour palette and texture palette that I've done for my little my little baking journal. I've checked that fired brick works. So this is a distress oxide ink, it's called fired brick and it will work perfectly on the edge of my envelope and I'm going to use my oral swabs. You will have seen me use these before. Um, they're, they're a medical thing. They're called oral swabs but they're on a nice little paper stick, foam on a paper stick and you get loads and loads for not very much money and they're brilliant. So before I glue anything down I'm just going to add a little colour to the edge of my envelope. If you didn't want this sharp edge, this real point here, you could fold that in again. For this first envelope I'm going to leave it. And I'm only going to do the front of the envelope because the back, this piece here, is what I will stick into my journal. And I'm going to decide, once I've stuck down these little pieces, I'm going to decide if I'm going to do inside because the flap will sit in my book like this, the envelope, and then when I pull it out, I don't know how visible that will be. I'll have a little think about that. But I'm certainly going to do this top edge. love those colours, they're beautiful colours. I'm going to keep my ink ready because on my envelope it's going to sit in my journal like this but I think I'm going to add my words along the top. So I've got a phrase here that says sing a song of spices and I'm going to use that to stick onto the, it'll go on the top of my envelope but when it's in the book it will look like that. That's fine. So I'm going to cut this down I'm going to try and cut it straight as well. 
everything I do is on the wonk. <laughs> it's still squint. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist because I think junk journaling should be a little bit loose and a little bit free. And I'm trying to take my own advice about that. I'm going to go around the edge of this as well with my colour. I really like that colour, it works so well with everything else. Doesn't it just? Look at this. I didn't do a little test swatch, I just sat it beside it, but that's that's just spot on, isn't it? So there's my little phrase, all sweet, all ready, and I'm going to glue that on. It's all glued on, it's really cute. So all I need to do now is add two thin little glue lines on the inside to make the top and bottom seal. And I'm using a really fine nozzle. This is just PVA glue in a fine nozzled dispenser because I'm a bit messy with glue. So I'll close that, just seal that, make sure there's no glue popping out the sides. And that's my envelope done. The way that that will sit in my book, this is the book that I'm taking for my cookery course and I'm still working on it, it's not quite finished yet, but uh, this will sit probably in one of these pages like this, so I'll ju just glue it in there. I won't glue it right into the centre because that puts pressure on the stitching, so I'll glue it quite close to the outer edge of the paper and then it will sit in there and if I have anything I want to pop in there, maybe little photographs, little maybe notes, I just open it out and I pop them in. I'm going to make, uh, that's the basic envelope, I'm going to make a few more with some variation. I'm going to do some with some stitching on them, I'm going to do some with a little bit more complex use of those printed words and I'll show you the selection. Here is my finished collection of envelopes ready to put into my little mini journal. So let me show you how I've done each of these. This one has been edged with a strip of fabric which I've, I've roughened up at the edges and when that goes into my journal those little rough edges will stick out a little bit so that will add interest to the side of my journal. The same thing will happen with this, this is a tiny little piece of lace and I've also used a hole punch, this is a three quarter inch hole punch which I've used to punch out a piece of uh, paper and that is a little flap that I can pop my envelope into. I've also changed the cover on the flap of the envelope so I've created the envelope as we did with the first one and I've cut a little piece of paper that fits over the flap and then that will pop under there. I've put a word there that just says pie. That's all I could fit onto that little button that's holding the envelope closed. And there's a little strip and this time I've put the lace across the front of the envelope whereas on this one I put it across the back of the envelope. That just adds a point of difference and that will also sit in my journal like this and it will add some interest at the side there. Likewise with this. In this case I've put the lace on the back of the envelope and remember this rear of the envelope will be glued down onto a page in my journal so this won't be seen and this time I've used my hole punch again to punch out a piece of paper that has some cheese words on it. I've added a tiny little strip down here in matching paper and one of my little phrases and this time I've cut the envelope off short here. So the way that I've done that is I've folded in a little bit of the V. Also on the inside I've put a little thing there just for me, just for my interest and that will tuck neatly into that flap there. So that will go into the journal again, that lace will will pop out really nicely. I've made that one deliberately quite deep so that it will uh, it's far more visible than the other ones. The original envelope of course and that is finished and then the other version that I did I put a strip across uh, the top of 
contrasting paper and I did a zigzag stitch down the side and also across the top of this contrasting paper and then I added my words and I just used a pen to draw a box around my words. So all of those little envelopes will sit beautifully in my journal, adding interest, adding my own choice of words and really making my journal more personalised. So I hope you found that useful and until we meet again, take care.